Welcome. Hi. How you doing tonight? It's so good to be here with you on this Monday night. Welcome to a Monday night on Roll the Level. My name is Dame, also known as Pastor Dame, and I am so glad that we get to be here uh, and uh, we get to do this Roll the Level thing this evening. So if you aren't familiar what Roll the Level is, let me tell you who we are as Roll the Level. Roll the Level is a group of people that love talking about life, God, and video games in no particular order. And uh, this is a place that whether you are a newbie uh, in your faith or your journey of discovering faith, uh, or you're a grizzled ancient like us, we want to help each other to roll the level or grow t together in, uh, in that journey. Um, because we believe that the Christian experience especially is uh, an experience that is better in a group. And, uh, and so we are, uh, we're playing some video games tonight. We're going to play some video games. We're going to hang out for the next couple hours here. And, uh, we're getting back into our playthrough of Chrono Trigger. I apologize for this, like random, like piece of pieces of light that are kind of like reflecting in my face right now. It's just kind of the way that l the light is kind of trickling through our windows here in the, uh, the new stream room. And, uh, yeah, kind of is, is what it is for right now, but, uh, sun's gonna, gonna go down here in a little bit, I'm sure. And, uh, we will, uh, we will try not to make sure that I'm not blinding you with that, but you are going to be watching the game anyway. You're not going to be watching my face. So, uh, so that is going to be a okay. And all right. Uh, for those of you who got a notification that said that it is Matt streaming tonight, I apologize for the disappointment there. I am not Matt. Uh, though I want to be like Matt when I grow up. He's a pretty cool dude. I like that guy a lot. Um, and we are not playing New World. Um, yeah, I it, I watched a little bit on New World. Uh, my buddy Garrick was streaming it the other night. It reminds me a lot of Elder Scrolls Online, Guild Wars 2, combat system-wise, and uh, stuff like that, which... Uh, I still have some issues when it comes to Guild Wars 2. My heart's still broken over that one. But we're not going to talk about that tonight. Maybe we will. I don't know. Maybe we'll get into it, why uh, Guild Wars 2 broke my heart. Uh, but uh, what we are going to do is we are going to get into playing Chrono Trigger. We are keeping it classic here this evening with Chrono Trigger. We're going to go to the game and dive in here this evening. All right. We are... We're diving back into the fated hour this is the place in the game that we are right now is a place that uh, we're close we're very very close to the end of things here and uh we're gonna talk to the old man here so it all went well no don't thank me i merely placed a piece upon the board it was not my hand that moved it if you want to thank someone, thank the one who cared enough to see their friend returned to them. By the way, the wings of time have come looking for you. They seem to have a heart and mind all of their own. You wish to fight Lavos, correct? Many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the Black Omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly, lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague, of events. People! and places that will empower you. A task to be done in the future in the birthplace of machines, a prehistoric stone that shines with the light of all ages of the world, the restless spirit of a proud knight slain by Magus in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present, an object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions, some along, or among you may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let the strength become your own. For only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. 
Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. All right, so we are... Will I take Chrono? Yes, I will take Chrono with me. Let's go ahead and do some equipping of Chrono because we got... We got the Swallow. We're going to increase his speed. I think that maxes out his speed. Um, the Slasher 2 is a, a little bit better attack-wise, but man, you can't, can't discount that speed, though. All right. Uh, we don't want to wear the Ozzy Pants. Uh, Rainbow Helmet. Yeah, Dual Stars means that it's maxed out, so... All right, we are using the time hat, and if I remember correctly, we last no, we don't want don't want to wear the Aussie pants. The Aussie pants mean confusion, so we're not doing that. All right, so what I know right now, what I know right now is that we have a situation where we have better helmets. I believe, on some of our characters. So we're going to go ahead. I think... Nope, that's not the dragon head. It is not the Aeonian... Not the Haste Helm. Where is it? Vigilance... Vigilante's hat. I believe is what we're looking at. They were expensive! They were expensive and... Okay. We're going to put... Ah, uh, you know, we're going to put the Reptite Tiara on uh, Meryl here. And we need the Vigilante's hat. All right. Prince all status ailment. We take those. Let's all stay. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. So Nova armor and Vigilante's hat. They both, they both prevent status ailments. But I, hmm, I don't know that that stacks. So I think you're right. Um, because of that, we can wear Aussie pants. We're gonna wear the Aussie pants because that's that's right. That's the play right there. Is it's the Nova plate or the Nova armor and the Aussie pants? Because one negates the no. Yep, yep. Absolutely right. Good call on that, Chris. Hey, by the way, I caught some of the um, the Grumpy Dungeon Master stream the other night. Uh, I was like, I was lurking while I was doing some other stuff. Uh, how did things turn out with the Owl Beast? Did uh, did the party end up taking it down, or did you guys uh, did the Owl Beast end up uh, making uh, making some uh, some people, including some of your uh, your Owl kin in the party? I don't know the official name of them, but uh, but it sounded like you had some uh, some avian uh, uh, characters within uh, within your party there. One that is, I guess was especially good at making tea. They did eventually. They started hitting it, and he started missing. Yeah, it was so funny, like to uh, uh, to just like kind of listen to. Uh, you guys playing around with it and they're Owlin. Okay. Or Owlkin. Used to be Owlkin. It's now Owlin. You know, he, the, the funny thing is like with, with like D&D &D stuff, like I have absolutely zero experience uh, with any of that. But the concept of tabletop RPGs and stuff like that, I mean, that kind of goes back to the, the 40K days of uh of playing you know warhammer 40k with uh with johnny uh he always had a knack for creating like like rpg like elements for uh for the games that we played and so that was always uh that was always a pretty all right thing to to do that uh we're gonna go uh we're going to the factory down here yeah, it was funny watching the other night and just kind of listening to the like uh the like hey we're uh we are gonna like go ahead and hit this thing and it's like the owl beast just kind of shirks it off all right robo i am familiar with this place please allow me to take the lead 
Okay, Robo, you can take the lead, my friend. And by take the lead, I mean you can be in the party. I Oh, I guess he has to actually be in the lead position. All right. Who enters my sanctum unbidded? My, my, welcome home, R66Y, or should I say Prometheus. And behind you, fleshlings. I have not seen creatures of flesh for many a day. Let me welcome them. Come, come within. <laughs> oh no, the door straight up disappeared. I, we're in this. Let's see just what capabilities they possess. Alright. We're uh, uh apparently that did nothing for helping out with uh our little little situation here with the uh, Aussie pants have gotta go because Chrono is confused. He's straight up confused. Yep, yep, did not did not do uh what it was supposed to. Boom. Yeah, we're going to have to go back on that. All right. uh, oh, no. Now we're kind of in a situation where we're stuck. <laughs> we can't do anything different right now. So either Chrono is going to kill our party. Oh, it looks like Chrono might also be... Poisons too? Maybe? Yeah, it looks like he's under some type of poison effect. And uh, definitely, definitely attacking. Uh, try post and cure him. All right. Um, you know what I? You know what else I did? And I, I, I said to myself today as I was thinking about my stream here this evening, I was like, I need to go pick up res potions. And by res potions, I mean Athenian water. Uh, and uh, you know what? The one thing that I didn't do was pick up the Athenian water. We're just going to hope that we don't have to res. Uh, I don't know that that's going to be a thing, but we're going to go from there. Alright. Oh. I definitely just threw Robo a potion. Ah, these things happen. I think that with the Aussie pants, if I'm not mistaken, once Chrono, once the wearer gets hit, then it uh, it knocks him out of the confused state. I think that's how it typically works in this game. Then too, I've been playing Octopath Traveler for the last little bit, so I could be confusing some of what I remember from Octopath. Uh, in there, so. No, he still looks like he's confused. And I'm not sure whether it's, whether it has to be direct hits or it's, let's just like AOE hits. Some healing. Yeah, I think there might actually be an item that works for um, for cure, but um, I and by for cure, I'm okay. The panacea uh, will likely take confusion off of the character.
Not bad for humans. I'll be looking forward to greeting you. All right. All right. We are saying uh, goodbye to the Aussie pants. Performance all status. Uh, Rainbow Helm uh, is is great. Um, has light damage. Um, I think. Yeah. I think that that uh, extra that extra extra there might not be a bad thing to have. All right, we're gonna think I get a chance to save before we get. Oh, well, about that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're going through there again. All right, we're going to go we're going to go buy some stuff and things. And uh yeah, then we're going to go back there. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, for some reason, oh, there is the grave there, which I think. Oh, yeah, I haven't been down there yet. I will need to do that. I will need to go there eventually. That is another side quest there. So, yeah, we're in side quest territory here. Chrono, you really saved my neck. I wouldn't be here right now if it weren't for you. Whew, was I ever in a tight spot? I'd go, I've gone off on a buying trip, thinking I'd show my dad I didn't need him anymore. It was all well and good, but then some soldiers showed up at the inn where I was staying to arrest a gang of thieves and mistook me for one of the criminals. They won't listen to a word I said. They were... They were going to execute me just like that. So, whew, I owe you one. We're in your debt. Thank you ever so much. Don't tell my dad I gave the, you these. Team 10 minutes. All right, we'll take those. Dad. You're not shirking off, are you? I, no, I mean, of course not. No, of course not. Well, all right then. Chrono, I appreciate what you did. Now, Chrono, down to business, please. Won't you buy something? Sure, I will. Let's get... Let's get some mid potions. Um, oh, can't buy Athenian waters here. That is unfortunate. We're going to have to go to another store. Okay, mm snail stop. Okay, it's the diner. Market. There we go. There we go. Whew. Okay. We got... We got stuff and things. So we are going to... Travel back in time. Actually, travel forward in time. All right. Gonna get back to it. We're gonna go back to Robo's area here.
All right, so we're going to have to go through, and I think we're going to have to fight all those things again, which at this point in time, it's tech points. Ayla needs tech points, so we'll take that. I really should have visited an inn or used a shelter before coming back in here. More, actually, I should have just gone to Chrono's house and slept. They're trying to get back into the action here, though. Back to it. Ayla leveled up. Good honor now. It's gonna save our tech points, and by our tech points, I mean our MP or magic points for the uh, for some of these fights up here. We have more people to take out directly. Robo's level increased. Yay! Love to see it. Alright, Chrono. Give us that there, Loom there. the stuff and things. All right, we got more, more guys. All right, I think Dino Tail time. That was not effective at all. If. I remember correctly, I think that might be one of those abilities that it hits for more damage when your health is lower. I know that frogs, um, I know that frogs works like that. taking a second or two to, to defeat here. That's okay. We got this still. They're still in it. There was this one time that I was saving my MP and um, I was kind of saving it for this fight. And then I then I used abilities that used to drain my MP so that I couldn't use that ability at this point. Sometimes it's like that. But you know what? That's why we have casual playthrough as one of the tags here. Cause we're not gonna get sweaty over it. Not gonna sweat it. It's all right. We're here having a good time. That's that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. All right. This is taking us up. Hey, look at that. We're gonna save here, and we're gonna use a shelter here. so strong. Chrono levels up. Love it. Oop. And Robo is just throwing himself at it. All right, my guy. All right, we are 
Oh no. Person, person there, we help. Yeek. I will stop the machines. It is no use. There are multiple layers of protection. Destroying the mother brain mainframe is our only hope. Lasers have to shoot. I really need to get uh, one of the accessories I know reduces the amount of MP that is used for attacks. Oh my. Self-destruct? That turret just noped right on out of there. I'm pretty sure it saw Robo and Ayla and went, mm -mm, not having it. Not today. Not going to happen. Not going to that. Wouldn't be prudent. going to take me anywhere. Right. Obtain Magic Capsule, hooray! Obtain Mega Elixir, double hooray! Alright, we are... Ooh. Obtain Strength Capsule, let's go! Oh, that's unfortunate. That was the guy I targeted, too. <laughs> oh, well, we'll make it through here. some healing. Robot and Ayla both increased in level. Awesome. Love that. Alright. Alright. Here we go. Alright, we're taking elevator down. Uh-oh. Trip that alarm. Three hundred years ago, the Lavos devast disaster brought drastic and devastating change to this planet and its current rate of decline. Humanity is doomed. The disease you call despair already consumes you from within. Dang, that's uh, spitting some uh, some hard hard truths there. All right.
Ah, they heal each other. Not for much. Not anything that is terribly insurmountable there. But enough. Excellent. We're getting like tons of barrier spheres in here. Which makes me think we're probably going to need those. Alright, I came in here to look at equipment. Because I think that... One of my other party members. Magic Scarf? No, it's not Magic Scarf. Silver Stud reduces MP consumption by 50%. That is something that we want. So. We're gonna go ahead and put that on Chrono for now. If we can. There we go, all right. I believe that there is a gold stud somewhere that reduces MP consumption by like 75%, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, you're sneaking by. We will not sneak by these guys though. Yeah, I cannot for the life of me remember where, where that is located at. I know it's a thing. I love that I took off the accessory that increased Chrono's uh, HP. And it went from 999 to 939. That's a really good question. Does your cartridge still have a good battery in it? You know, I've never thought about that from the standpoint of some of those those classic titles. Um, because oh, what's going on? Oh, we are electrically charged with something. All right. We are. That makes that makes me wonder for the um, for the used market for console cartridges. I wonder if I wonder if for like collectors, if they take the batteries out of those things, or if you can just actively, if you can as a the end user if you will, go back and um, and update those. And by update those, I mean replace those. All right. If you have the Nintendo screwdriver, you can replace the battery easily. Gotta have that special screwdriver, though. All right, we are gonna get that that spark, and we're gonna take that spark in here. We're gonna get that. I imagine something like that is probably something you can find on the internet. Somebody somewhere has uh, has the Nintendo screwdriver. It's always really kind of funny to me when there are oh, specialized screws for things. All right. Why, the way you want to be. Let's see if this... 
All right, well. Hmm. a speed capsule. Fantastic. Yeah, we have uh, we have links turned off here um, since uh, we've had uh, had some situations with people posting stuff in our uh, our chat here. Oh, you know what? Haha. <laughs> the I just happened to look over the the gold stud is actually in the black omen. Uh, that is that is where that happens. Okay. All right. So we need to get that other. We need to find a way to get that other. There's another doll. to talk to that guy wherever that guy is aha but we're gonna get that current we're gonna run it over here open that door up all right it's all coming back get that money all right is there situation okay I need to get there all right we're gonna go ahead and fight these guys we're gonna clear the path get out of my way we're gonna clear a path for these guys make sure that we can get over with the spark because the spark is going to, that's going to help us to get that door open. And we will take that. And I am just seeing that uh, one of my new friends in the streaming community, uh, Mr. Aki of Aki and Peach, are they are streaming right now. Uh, Aki and Peach is a daddy-daughter duo. Uh, they played the ga games together, family-friendly stream. Uh, I, Aki's been good enough to let me tag along with him and his crew for um, some uh, some Destiny raiding, and that has been a blast. Uh, it has been an absolute blast to be able to hang out with with them. Uh, if you are not familiar. If you're not familiar with Aki and Peach, you need to get to familiar with them. Uh, they're just just cool people, really, really down to earth people. Aki and Peach, uh, their community, the Warriors of Light, uh, are just it's just a good place to be, good place to hang out. And I have thoroughly enjoyed my time getting to hang out with those guys. Um, neat crew, neat neat crew over there. Looks like he's playing the Skyward Sword tonight. Which is, um, which is one of those Legend of Zelda games that uh, never played. Cause it was for the, I think it was on the tail end of the Wii U. I believe that's when Skyward's, where Skyward Sword came out. 
tail end of the Wii, Wii or Wii U lifespan, and I was not terribly interested in that game. Ah, magical capsule. Do you not realize, were it not for the existence of you creatures, this planet would be at peace, and yet you struggle and fight for what? Good question. Alright, we are saving our game. Oh! Welcome home, Prometheus. Atropos? Yes, it's been some time, hasn't it? Come and join me. There's no need to pretend you're on their side anymore. What? Unlike the other R-Series units, Prometheus was given a special task. To live with the humans and study them as a species. What are you saying? Ayla not understand. I imagine a lot of this would be very confusing for Ayla. It's no lie. Tell them, Prometheus. Step aside now, Prometheus. We'll eliminate these humans and go see Mother. Robo, what the heck? Bop! What are you doing, Prometheus? I will not allow you to hurt them. You have been damaged then. They must have tampered with you. I'll destroy them and then I can fix you. Tropas, you've changed! You're not the robot I knew before and fell in love with! No, I've been upgraded! Mother remain me to eliminate humans more efficiently. Step aside, Prometheus. Ma, 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 ma. My name is Robo. Prometheus. Bop. Oh, please wait. Stand back and leave this to me. Atropos. Prometheus! Ah. Boop. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch you again. Bump! So I'm a fire my laser! All right, well, you know what? We, we might go ahead and heal ourselves, too. Q can play at that game. Yep. But not nearly as effectively. You know what? Bup! We're gonna rocket fist there. Ah! Proximity bomb! <clears throat> that was not very effective there. Yeah, keep doing that. Yep, yep, do that. Always do that. That effect is that that attack is just really effective. I
bro maybe bro maybe as it's been some time hasn't it atropas i am damaged what happened my memory banks i must have yes when when mother rover wrote my old programs i backed up my memory I'm so sorry, Bromelias. I want you to have this. You can plug it into your circuits. Please take care of it. Good bye, Bromelias. Boo! Ooh! Wow! That speed and magical defense increase for Robo. Man. Listen well, flawed and fragile flesh spawn. Lavos's children will one day return to the stars to seek out new planets, new sources of sustenance. When that day comes, this planet will have its chance to heal so long as there are no humans to interfere. We robots will establish a new world order, a united, unified nation of steel and pure logic, a utopia free of sadness and suffering. Evolution has chosen us. We are the seeds of the next generation. Woo! That's some <laughs> special logic there. Your series species is obsolete. Cease your foolish struggle and surrender yourself to the fate of all flawed creations. Man. All right, well, it'll be like that. Uh, we are gonna get a save spot back here. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a shelter to heal up and more importantly, get that MP back up. And we're gonna save because we're gonna fight Mother Brain and not that Mother Brain. I think once we defeat All right. Once we defeat the mother brain. There we go. Mother brain and displays. So you've managed to reach me. I am the mother brain of this RY series factory. Come, Prometheus, allow me to restore your logic, resell, reset your circuitry, and clear your cache of memories. Then you can dispose of those filthy humans together. I'm not being very consistent with voices tonight. I'm just, you know what? We're hanging. We're, ch we're chilling tonight, being goofy. Memories are all too valuable to be deallocated and so are my friends you would betray me to side with these humans you would turn against all robot kind humans have taught me a great deal Verano, Luca Meryl, Frog, and Ayla <laughs> Magus has taught you nothing I want to see the future that they bring about oh ho ho ha 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 don't you make me laugh. There's no future for humans. I'll show you just what little hope they have. Ah. <laughs> Gotta bust those TVs. That would do it. So apparently, Ayla can charm Blue Mail off of off of Mother Brain here. Tamed Blue Plate. All right. 
first time, we'll take that. All right, let's, uh... Ooh, that physical attack there, not bad. I'm gonna use Luminaire again. So I felt like that was pretty effective. Though I'm, no, not very effective. I think Frenzy. All right, Breakdown. There we go. Prometheus, why? Whoo. Tame Terraton Arm and Crisis Arm. All factory operations have been permanently taken offline. None of the machines here will, will ever be reactivated. Ooh. All right, let's continue. Robo just ended his people, and he's like, it ain't no thing. Okay, interesting. Last digit of own HP determines damage. Interesting. It looks like the Terraton arm is not as good as the Dragon arm, which we got from doing that other that other thing. All right, well, we are going to go to hmm, going to go to the Middle Ages. We're gonna. This might. This is Ozzy's. No, this is not Ozzy's castle here. This is the Northern Ruins. I think, though, this might be. Not entirely sure what's here. Uh, lots of misses, I guess. bust out of here because I think that there might be another location that we need to go to. And actually I think this location is one where we need to bring some other characters. All right, we're gonna go to present age. Present age. We're gonna make a pit stop at Chrono's house. What is up, Chewy? How you doing, my guy? Good to see you tonight. Good to see you. How you doing, man? It's been a hot second. You uh, you getting your uh, your World of Warships on here this evening? I uh, actually saw you in Destiny the other night. I almost sent you a message to see if you're gonna be on for a bit, and I should have. I really should have. But dude, it's so good to have you in here. Oh, we're just uh, hanging, playing some D2, and working on our weekly quest. Awesome. We've been hitting it hard recently. Did you guys, um, did you, Leanna, get uh, all the stuff, all the armor sets for, um, for Solstice? I just did, um, I really only did it on my Titan. I think that was, like, all the, the bandwidth that I had at the moment. And, um, yeah, I, uh, 
didn't really do much other than that. Yeah, he did. Just finished the last character this past weekend. You guys, way to go. That is that is some commitment right there. It has been a little bit of a busy time for me in the last couple of weeks. Had, uh, man, we moved houses and had uh, my in-laws down to visit. And, uh, and I think, like, the, we just... Like this last week, we just like kind of started catching our breath, and then, and then Bailey goes back to work this next week. So we've been trying to trying to squeeze in like all the stuff and things this week. It seems, but uh, hopefully one of these days we will uh, we'll be able to catch up. Princess Nadia. You had me worried, princess. I understand your feelings, of course. The king places his realm above all else. It was the same even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away. What? Oh, child. Please forget I spoke. Tell me. It's difficult to speak of even now. You see... Queen Eliza's condition has been frail for some time, but it took a sudden turn in the worst. Near the end, she desperately wanted to see your father just one last time. But your father refused, said he could not leave his work unattended. He left you young, innocent, and knowing nothing of death to watch over her alone. Naturally, the end was not long coming she died soon after one might say the king killed her such a shame father killed her please I speak too much don't let it trouble you your highness now that you're finally returned won't you go and see the king <laughs> Oh, Nadia. What have you come here for? I thought you had no more use for this place. Don't look at me like that. You're the one who stormed out of here and let these hoodlums in here. How can you say things like that? These are my friends. Friends? You're a daughter in the line of Gaudia consorting with their like is a disgrace to this family's name. It's true, then. You really do care more about the kingdom than you ever cared about me, my mother. What? You. You killed my mother. Get out of here! Don't show your face here again. Don't worry, I won't. She's mad. Do as you please. You're not my daughter. Ooh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. All right, we are. Now, you just wait a minute here, sir. We will have words. We will have words. His grace is deeply troubled by Princess Nadia. After the death of Queen Eliza, Princess Nadia became His Grace's entire world. What have you come here for? You have no business in this place. What? What's that? Your... Your favorite... You brought this from me? Let's see. What 
is it, your grace? How could you give me something this spicy when you know quite well I have high blood pressure? What? But it's your favorite. This is the last straw now. I truly know how much you hate me. Beef jerky is a hate crime, apparently, in Guardia. Father, no, I... Leave now and never show your face here again. Father! Oh, she got kicked out. We're still going to see if we can explore the castle here. We're going to poke about. Who gave you permission to come in here? Out with you. Sorry about me, wife. The old lady runs the kitchen. God tread softly around here. What are you doing here? Do you want to be put on trial again? Yo, what I want to do is figure out what happened here. And what we doing about it. What indeed. What indeed are we doing about this? Pierre, Royal Legal Council. The king has been terribly distraught since the princess ran off. It took some time, but I was able to convince him not and that no kidnapping took place. The Chancellor, on the other hand, he's been acting quite strangely. We were just discussing that now. Chancellor's trouble. The big old T. The Chancellor's trouble. He stepped into a war with the Cabal on Mars. Alright, well, that, uh, a little, little unfortunate there. A little, little unfortunate there for, uh, for, uh, poor old Meryl, or Princess Nadia. Tried to give her dad some beef jerky, some spicy beef jerky, his favorite. And he's all like, you know I got high cholesterol. I can't handle the beef jerky. It's like war crimes right there. It was a declaration. It was the throne gauntlet. She is after the throne. All right. Well, we're going to we're going to go back in time here because it would seem that there is there's something in the middle ages. Something happened. And we got to stop it from happening. All right. His Majesty has ex been expecting you. Please go speak with him. Ooh, Commander, our victory is owed to you. You served us victory. Uh, but I, I but cooked a meal. Speaking of cooking, I have a mind to prepare a victory feast. Something truly spectacular to celebrate the Fiend Lord's defeat. King, you're alive. We sustained heavy casualties, but thanks to you, our battle is won. Uh, our viewership average, you know what? It kind of fluctuates here. Um, we are, that is the one piece that we are kind of missing uh, as far as affiliate goes. Uh, viewership, uh, just the averages, I think we're just below where we need to be. So not quite there yet. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it is definitely a goal that we have in, uh, in the role with, for the, the role of the level team. That was something that we, uh, kind of shooting for, uh, with doing the different streaming. We're going to be, uh, 
taking a deeper look at some of our analytics here in the near future to figure out kind of what we need to tweak and uh, going from there. What well, words of gratitude could possibly suffice for what you've done? Frog, where's Frog? Uh, apparently we need to bring Frog in with us. Alright, so party. We're going to take Robo Frog. Do some equipment changes. Alright. You guys just thought about each logging onto the stream under your own personal accounts of boost. Uh, you know what? Uh, we we have talked a little bit about that. Some of the there are some scheduling challenges with making that happen, uh, and um, and so we are we're trying to figure out the best way to navigate that. But uh, yeah, I mean, we, we do have that, uh, that kind of going on. Step aside. I know, right? Like, best, best music. So, fun story with, uh, with the, uh, with Frog's music. So, um, when I was in, when I was in high school, there was a, um, I was a part of doing a, um, did I tell this one already? Did I tell this the story about the frog music already? I may have told that on stream. Okay. Uh, maybe a different story. Um, so anyway, uh, in in high school, I took a um, it was like a like a government and like politics class that uh that was offered through uh through our homeschool group and uh part of part of the uh the course was that there was a um there was a like mock election like it with like campaigning and debates and whatnot and so i ended up running i ended up being like one of the candidates uh for that and uh, I ended up making like a like a campaign commercial, and the theme music behind the campaign commercial was definitely was definitely Frog's theme. And P.S. I won, so there's that too. <laughs> It was a really interesting process. Like it was, uh, I, yeah, exactly. You know, you want to inspire the people. You got to have an ec epic theme song, right? I love that we can see Robo out here. All right. Regrowing the forest. Make it grow. Right. Welcome. Oh, you know what? I think this might actually be where we gotta go. The northern. Okay, this was just where we were. Just trying to 
work through some of these side quests here. Because they will definitely make things go a little bit better. Oh, you know what? I am, like, not paying attention, and my people are gonna die here. I'm, like, sitting here trying to figure out, like, oh, man, where's my next step? What am I... Yeah, they're, they're winning. I just had to give them a little bit of a head start. That's all. I'm not paying attention. Oof. Chrono's about to die. Yeah, and, you know, of course, I haven't saved in a while, so this would be the time that would happen. MP Buster, why you gotta be like that? Ah, uh, guys. Alright, um, we're gonna actually head out here. Because we're gonna go... This away. Mm, we're gonna stop at the inn yeah. for that twenty gold restore health and MP. Yep, for sure, man. Thanks for, uh, dude. Thanks for popping in here with your uh, with your accounts, dude. I really appreciate it. Don't listen to him. Well, who does he think he is? Going around bragging at everyone he raised a hero. Oh, letting myself get all swept up when I should have been looking out for me boy. Well, from now on, I'll make sure we both of us our feet on the ground. All right. Worry not, he's my grandson. He won't let a little thing like this spell the end for his great deeds. He told me already his next goal is to become the legendary Sea Captain Bluebeard. <laughs> uh. Oh, that is not the place I need to be. Okay. Uh, I need to go to... Northern Ruins. Southeast. Going into the residences here. Oh, oh the only... Go to the tavern. Robbed of my carpentry tools. How am I to work without my tools? Ah, well met, Chrono. I've finally stumbled upon a hint as to the whereabouts of the rainbow shell. Still, I can't shake the feeling that things will go sour this time. I fear my luck may have finally run out. Say, would you mind holding on to this for me? Toma's spirits. Ah. Should the worst befall me, it would mean a lot to me if you pour that on my headstone. 
touch morbid, I know. But I beg you. Alright, we are... About ten years ago, a beast was seen dragging something into the northern ruins. So there was talk it may have been some sort of treasure, but no one knows for sure. Well, we need... We need to go and figure out what is in those ruins. I'm gonna figure it out here and... But I'm all. We gotta get into our time machine. And well, we're gonna visit the gravestone at the Western Cape. Here lies the great explorer Toma Levine, sixth of third moon, 634. All right. Pour one out for the homie. Oh, it's him, Crotto. It's been many a day. Located the rainbow shop as it were. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. The shell is there. The Giant's Claw. But beware, there are droves of monsters afoot there. Well then, I believe this is farewell. Bye! Peace out, homie! Ah, there truly is no drink so fine as one shared with a company of friends like you. All the best to you. All right. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we're gonna save our game. Ooh, that's spooky music. Crumble notes written in Thomas' hand. Those holes, perhaps they're meant to be jumped into. Yes, I'd best start all over. Oh, look at that. We've seen that before, friends. <laughs> it's empty. The Reptite Castle? This place must have been pushed underground when lavas fell onto the earth. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs in the modern age! Who would have thought? Oof. Cast some ice on these guys. All right, everybody, chill. Obtain clarity cap. Oh, no, not. Not flying, guys. Nobody likes the flying guys. No! 
Well, I guess that's not working. They're really, really bent on trying to confuse Chrono. Really, really bent on that happening. Icy time. Icy time. Uh oh. Meryl is going to get confused. We need to give her one of those uh, vigilant caps. We are going to do that right now. Because that is going to help her cause. cat into a hole what where's monsters oh no all right we're gonna save our game I'm a monster. All right, well. Something tells me that I could jump down that hole. And that's what I was supposed to do. But am I gonna? Not right now. Not the way it's going down right now, friends. Frog is confused. No good. Put him on ice. There we go. Gonna go downstairs into what was once the Tyranno Lair. Alright. So it looks like we're gonna have to jump down that hole. No, not the flying rats again. Guys, these are like the the rats. Like the rats. Can't get away from them. Come in here. We're gonna save our game. We're gonna, I think, probably gonna use a shelter. Uh, no, we're not quite gonna use a shelter. We are gonna s go ahead and we're gonna heal our party up. We're gonna save, and then we're gonna eat ourselves down into the cavern if we can. Uh, 
Well, there they are. Throw that luminaire at him. Oof. One flying monkey dead. Throwing. Throwing us. Alright. Strength capsule. Love it. Levels up, love that. Always good to see. Oh no. Oh no. These monkeys. Oof, don't like that. Meryl did not like that either. Check into something real quick. All right. Here we go. Ah, there's a chest up in the corner that we want. Why do we want it? Because it's a treasure chest, and we are here for the loot. The loot, I tell you. Poor Meryl. Every time. Every time. Blue gemstone. All right. Inventory. That blue gemstone, I believe, is a... That is an item for a triple tech, if I'm not mistaken. Let's look at this. Enables Omega Flare technique. Ooh. Omega Flare. That sounds pretty all right. Obtained high ether. Obtained strength capsule. All right. Take that for sure. You know, I actually need to spend some of those capsules on characters. Let's uh, let's look at that. What do we got? We got seven. Seven. All right, we 
got speed capsules. Alright. Maybe we should... Alright. That tells us where we're at. That's good. That's good. Got our bearings. Know how to get out of here if I've got to get out of here. There's a fight waiting. I know it. Tint Lapis. Well, maybe not. There's a fight here, that's for sure. I feel like this is a place where I wish I would have brought Ayla in with me. Maybe that's not a bad... Idea. Maybe next uh, next save point we will uh, we'll do that. Oh, could have pressed the button. Could have done it, but we didn't. Mistakes were made. Oh no, that was a that was a poor choice. Cause that's gonna go ahead and heal the fly boys. I am throwing tonight, guys. I am just throwing all over the ding dong place. Yeah, that was a uh, big time oof moment. Big time. The biggest of times of oofs. Because I totally just... <sighs> you know what? We're not going to sweat it. We're not sweating it because we're having fun tonight. And we like to make things challenging for ourselves not really but sometimes it happens sometimes it just happens like that All right, well, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and heal ourselves up here because that was rough. All right. Yeah, these guys are far less bothersome when it comes to what we do here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ugh. Allergies, my friends. Allergies. Not my friend. Oof. Ah, yes, these guys. Uh, apologize for blowing the schnoz on camera here. Like I said, there was allergies, though. Whiffed it. Meryl did not. Whew. That crit strike. That experience, love it. Oh no. But. But we take that, we take that. Save spot is nice. 
save spot and spot to be able to use shelter is more nice. Save spot to save and switch party members. Also very nice. All right, so. We're gonna take. Mm, we're gonna take Ayla. I think. And you know what? We're gonna take Ayla and Robo. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh, nope. Nope. We are nope and on out of there. Nope. City. We are running back this way because. That's where we need to go. I feel like we're missing something. Like there are, I feel like there are some. There are some things here that, yeah. I kind of wish I'd been able to hit the ape with uh, lightning first, but eh. We take what we can get. Boom. Actually, I don't know that... I don't know that he's sensitive to that. And by sensitive, I mean weak. I don't know that he's weak to lightning. It is not very, very frightening to him. Tained Wrath Band. All right. What does the Wrath Band do? Grants 80% counterattack rate. Whoo! Yeah, we're going to give that to... Ooh, who do we want to give that to? Do we want to give that to Ayla? Or do we want to give that to Silver Gemstone? Silver... Uh, you know what? We are... We're going to give that... So we want that... Not magic defense. No, we can't really boost HP. We want six stam... We're already maxed out on stam. Power scarf. Yeah. All right, so I think we're going to put on ruby suits here because I think that is going to be necessary. Um, what was that one? Uh, wrath Band. Here we go. Ayla with the Wrath Band. That. Whew. That's going to be nice. That's going to be nice. All right, so I. it looks like we might have missed a very, very important treasure chest, but I think we're probably going to continue on here because we are coming down, closing in on the end of stream time here. About 20 minutes left, which is all right. Got that. Oh, apparently we kind of need to fall down in that trap. But I have a feeling that those guys that we just hucked down here, no. That turned out pretty all right. All right, we are saving. 
saving. We got ourselves a fight on our hands. We heard it. Now see it. It's the Black Tyranno. And he says, uh, where do you think you're going? Okay, I can't boulder toss. Ayla's strong. She's not that strong. She can't, like, suplex a train or anything like that. Okay, so Dino Tail, I was right. Dino Tail is one that... Yeah, we can do triple kick, though. That's a thing. Yeah, Frenzy Band on, on Ayla, or Wrath Band as, it, as it's called in this iteration of the game. Yeah, definitely well worth having on Ayla. Uh, we are... I'm going to just dump damage into him. Mess him up, Ayla. Yeah, we're gonna... Hmm. Yeah, we'll uh, see what this does. <laughs> He's just spiked Ayla into... <laughs> That's fantastic. All right. Not nearly as effective as it could have been. That's all right. That's all right. We are... Uh... Use those attacks that we know are going to be effective against... Against the Black Tyranno here. All right. We are at a point where we're going to have to start... Looking at, yeah, you know what? Not sure what he's going to unleash here, but we will find out what he's counting down toward because, all right, uh, cat attack. Let's use cat attack. Doesn't seem to be uh, particularly. Oh, well, looky there. We had him locked down. Beat the timer. Love that. A little, little bit of a. Oh, it's the rainbow shell. This must be the rainbow shell. It sure is, friends. <gasps> Oh, it's heavy. No can carry. Castle person help? All right. All right, we are going to we're going to bust out of this cave. Going back to tell the king and queen, well met. 
You're always welcome here. Is there something troubling you? We would ask a favor. I see. So you wish for me to safeguard the shell you found on that island within the castle for future generations? Grant them this small favor. It is little enough to ask. Very well. I shall have the shell brought to the castle and stored in our vault as a royal heirloom. Commander! Yes, Majesty. Go to the giant's claw and retrieve for me this rainbow shell. At once, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. All right. So this is where we're going to save. We may actually need to go back into that cave because I think there's a piece of equipment in there that we need to get. But I also think that we have enough time. We're going to we're going to swap out. Man, I really like both Robo and Ayla and Party here. Alright, we're going to go to the present time. Because we need to go... Well, we need to take a nap. That's, that's one thing. That's for sure. No. Uh, yeah. Going to Kronos' house, taking a nap. Because it's what you do. Free MP, free HP, and... And we get to see Chrono's cat. Hello, friend. Hello, random feline. Alright, we are going to change party members. Alright, we're going to bring... Uh, against my better judgment, we're going to bring a... Or... Merrill instead of... All right. The Chancellor has ordered that the interior of the castle be sealed off until the trial is over. Uh, what trial? remember correctly. Oh, snap. This is the treasury. No entry is permitted. I saw snakes. Entry is forbidden. Let me through. Good citizens, have any of you heard of the royal heirloom known as the Rainbow Shell? I too had no idea of existence until I laid eyes upon this, that is. I hold before me an ancestral will written by the hand of your own king's descendant forebears, if I may. Unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair that they might enjoy the blessing of our royal treasure. I have no idea what you're talking about. We have no ancient royal heirloom. Surely you don't intend to claim this is a forgery. I ask you, good people of the court, why does the defendant deny you a glimpse of this glorious rainbow shell? Why? Because he no longer owns it. He sold this priceless heirloom of our kingdom for no other reason than his own greed witnesses. If you please. Princess, we are conducting a trial here. Father. Nadia, the Chancellor is trying to frame me. Let us not hurl insults. If you are innocent, it should be simple enough to confirm the matter with proof. Proof? Yes. If his grace has not sold the heirloom, it should remain within the castle. Bring the rainbow shell before the court, and your innocence will be beyond question. Not that I expect you to succeed. <laughs> 
Chancellor, what kind of trickery is this? Remove them! Entry is forbidden! Let me through! I'm sorry, milady. Not even you may enter. But the rainbow shell will prove the king's innocence. What are you talking about? The Chancellor made up the entire thing. There is no heirloom. Have you forgotten our actions in 600 AD? We altered the course of history. The rainbow shell should be here in the castle. Ah, the rainbow shell we gave to my ancestors 400 years ago must still be here. It's probably in the basement. Let's go. All right. We're going to the basement. Not that basement. The other basement. <gasps> Ugh, a rat bit my toe. Snacks. The boss is finally going to settle the score of his 13 generation old family crime. Yeah, he's going to frame the king good with the fake evidence. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're about to end this man's career. Yeah, we obtained the Athenian water. Ah, so there is a plot. We better hurry. Yes, I bought it from the king. I wasn't sure if I should, but, well, he looked desperate for the money. Liar! I've never even seen you before. Order in the court. Hey, <laughs> was I convincing? Perfect! I love that these enemies in here are like the same enemies that we fought in that first cathedral like way, way, way back. And we're just like, uh-uh, fam, we are ripping through here. We are on urgent business. Rainbow Shell. There's a letter to Meryl. Dearest Meryl, I know things are not easy with your father, but though it may be hard to realize now, know you will ever be his daughter. Nothing can break the bond of blood, neither distance nor words of anger. Someday you will leave the nest and have children of your own. Then you will understand the truth of what I say. Blood is the sap that flows through the limbs of a family tree. And come what may, in future days, you will forever be joined by that. Queen Guardia, 21. Lean. <gasps> Queen Lean. I have no parents or blood, so it is difficult for me to comprehend the meaning, but this letter somehow seems warm. Hang in there, Father. We're coming. Obtained Rainbow Shod. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe the defendant guilty, stand to the left. Innocent, right. Guilty!
We have no time for your funny business. Get out of the way. Sorry, I realize that's kind of shrill whistling into the microphone. All right. Sorry, my lady. Not even you may enter. You really won't reconsider. No, princess, I really won't. There is no other way, then. This is a bit rough, but just follow me. A verdict has been reached. Four votes of guilty to a single not guilty. The defendant has been found guilty as charged. The line of Guardia has ended. This kingdom shall be mine. Take him away. Wait. Who is that? Father. Nadia, princess, you're too late. His grace has been found guilty. Even the king is subject to our laws. No, not when the whole thing was a setup. Nonsense, the king's a crook. He sold the treasures right here. Impossible. Give it up, Chancellor. Your little scheme has failed. <laughs> You're the ones who had better give up. If I can't avenge my ancestors the easy way, I'll do it here and now the hard way. Super Ultra Presto Transformo! And just like that, folks, it is Yakra 13. We are in the fight again with this chomp. Gonna take him to task. What a ride. 13 generations later, this guy, he been holding out hope for this day. But today is not his day. He picked on the wrong crew. You know, I really should have brought Ayla for this. I'm now, like, second-guessing that decision. I should have brought Ayla because Ayla can charm and steal stuff. Weakness is Dude pretending like he knows like a weakness that we have. This Dude. Just give it up, man. Just stop it. Stop it. Needle spin version 13. Oof. All right, well. Got a big cure on that one. So that was unfortunate for you, friendo. No! 
not again. Yeah, and just like that, Yakra playing the long game, but Yakra has been defeated. Father, I... No, don't say it. I was wrong to be stubborn. No, I, I didn't even think about how you must have felt. I, oh, I, I know I want what I want to say, but the, the words are just not coming out. It's the same for me. There was a time when I truly thought you were lost to me. But when I think about it now, I realize that it was I who abandoned you. But I'm here now. We'll talk about everything from now on. I'll ask you for advice, and tell you about Chrono, and, and ask about Mother, and... Oh, your mother, Eliza. I'm ashamed to admit it, but it's taken me until now to understand what she meant with those final words. Someday, when Nadia is older, she'll bring someone she loves to meet you. Welcome the two of them with open arms. She said that it would make a day you would remember forever. You heard her last words? Of course. You were so young, and you probably don't remember. You kept saying, Daddy, I, I love lots of people, lots and lots. It reassured your mother, seeing you so happy. She left us with a smile on her face. So that's how it was. Yes, why? I used to call you daddy? You did. I'm sorry. Daddy, I'm sorry for everything. Such a touching moment. I give you permission to leave the castle, but I expect the utmost caution from you. Keep my daughter safe. Understood. It seems it's my turn to step forward. Melchior! I can't be letting you have all the fun. Let me make some armor from the, that rainbow shell. Finally, time for me to do something again. Watch and learn. Ah, yeah. We're about to get some of that rainbow armor. Melchior is about to do some of his finest work. Finest. We are gonna... The properties of this material are quite unique. I can craft armor from it that will dampen the effects of magical attacks. I can make one highly effective prismatic dress, or I can make three less effective prismatic helmets. Which would you prefer? I'm gonna take the dress. Because um, I think I remember that being like... Yeah, let's, uh, let's do that. Yeah, the it's uh it is kind of a, a, a toss up. I mean, cause the the rainbow the rainbow helms from what I remember are really nice, but having that prismatic dress, I cause I don't think I don't think the helms dampen nearly as much magic. But making somebody like Meryl a little bit more tanky 
since she's got a bunch of healing uh, healing abilities. I think that's the play. Yeah, but Ayla doesn't wear dresses. She doesn't. You're right. Um, however, like I still, I still think that might be the play here. She does have high magic defense. You're right. Um, well, guys, I think that's going to be, um, that's going to be where we're going to end our playtime this evening. But if you guys don't mind, we're going to do something here. Um, if you humor me a second, because I think this is going to work and I'm going to try to do something here. Because I want to make, I want to make an introduction here, and so we're gonna try this thing and see what happens. Um. Oh, I totally typed that wrong. Mm. All right, we're gonna try a thing here and go right here. Oopsie. All right. The other is known as the Earth Stone. We're going to raid Aki and Peach here. I know we kind of ended kind of ended some stuff, but the uh stone was hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. And Rome Level is coming in with a massive raid. Let's go. Hello, Roll to Level, Pastor Damon, everybody coming in from Roll to Level stream. Well, Pastor Damon, everybody coming in from Roll to Level stream. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Rollers of Light. Hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. We're so glad you all are here. Can I get a shout out for Roll? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Pastor Dame raided with us last night in Destiny 2. We had a wonderful time with him. And uh, we, he was in my TikTok today, so there's that. But welcome, everybody coming from the Level stream. But welcome, everybody coming Hey, we're going to end the stream right there. Good to see you guys tonight.